All right, so I was on the website ordering a uh, couple of these uh, Velociraptor drives for one of our builds and I realized that there was no video on it. I guess somebody dropped the ball. And uh, so I'm making up for that by doing a quick review on the Velociraptor in case you've, I'm sure you've seen it by now. The original Raptor from Western Digital is like one of the most famous hard drives ever for uh, enthusiasts. But this is the new one. And if you haven't seen it yet, this is it. Now this is the new, the new Velociraptor. If you remember the old Raptor was, they came in 74 and uh, 128 gigabyte versions. They were SATA one. So they did 150 megabits per second and they were three and a half inch drives at 10,000 RPMs. These are two and a half inch drives with that uh, SATA two, that's three gigabit per second 10,000 rpms and they're 300 gigabytes so check it out you get this little uh, two and a half inch drive and it comes in this big uh, cooler which lets it fit into your three and a half inch bays which is great now if you're thinking that you're gonna pull this out of here and put it in a laptop not a good idea you will kill your very nice warranty that you get if you do that and uh, they run probably a little bit warmer than your 54 and 7200 rpm laptop specific drives so I wouldn't try it but this is an awesome product first of all it's enterprise grade it's just like if it was in a server it's one of those really Really expensive uh, SAS drives or like a Savio, but it's for consumers and it's, you know, you get that quality, you get that long mean time between failures, which is 1.4 million hours. So this will last you a very long time. It has a five-year warranty because it's so reliable. They have no problem giving you a five-year warranty of coverage, which is a very long time. So even though you're spending a lot of money on something like this, it's very high performance. The performance is, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Uh, you get a little bit less capacity than you would with other drives on the market in this category. But again, it is a 10,000 RPM drive and this literally will outpace a lot of the solid state drives that are out there right now, I think probably like 90% of them, there's very few that are actually faster than this hard drive. So this is, uh, right now we ordered two of these and they have in RAID 0 in our super gaming build thingamajig that we're doing, benchmarking system. And uh, I'll tell you what, insane performance. They're very, very fast. Loading into Vista is like, I mean, it's like that. Uh, striping them in a RAID 0 array. The performance is great. They're not that loud. Uh, they're not that hot and they run very well. They're very smooth. They don't shake the chassis like the old ones do. If you, I don't know if you guys remember the old Raptors, but they were like click, 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 zzz. like they made all the sounds in the world. They were very loud. <clears throat> These are very fast. Now, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice. The uh, Raptor is getting me excited. All right, let's uh, go directly into the specs. Let me talk to you real quick about what happens when you run like HD tack on one of these things. Uh, if you're on the inside, I'm sorry, if you're on the outside of the platter, 79.5 megabytes per second. That's very fast. Middle 105 and in the inside part where it's the shortest distance around, you're getting 120 megabytes per second of read and write speed. So that's very, very fast. It's faster than most of the uh, solid state drives and it's bursting almost to 200. It's going to 195 and the theoretical output of the SATA 3 is 200 megabytes per second anyway. So you're right there, kill, uh, right up at the maximum of that SATA 2 interface. So that's very fast. 4.2 millisecond uh, response time for read and 4.7 I believe it was for write. That's also very excellent. 25 to 36 decibels of sound uh, depending on whether you're actually reading or if it's at idle that sounds like a lot but inside the case it's not as bad as you'd think um, to be honest with you I really couldn't tell anything further than an older 7200 rpm drive it was barely louder it didn't really sound very loud and as far as power goes they're great six watts on load I think that's pretty good and uh, four watts on idle and I think it goes down to 0.4 when they go to sleep so that's all very very good um, what else can I tell you about this if you want to go see some really great benchmarks as far as uh, the stripping and uh, or striping however you want to pronounce it different benchmarks doing two of them or three of them in a RAID 0 array as well as a full review. Tom's Hardware has a great review. Uh, I just read it. It's very thorough. I did my own benchmarks on it. I'm not going to get into it because again this is a product that a video should have been done a very very long time ago. If you have a high-end system, if you spent a lot of money on a big fast Penryn of uh, you know 45 nm quad core and uh, either really fast DDR2 or DDR3 and you have a good video card like a, a, a 200 series or a 4800 series from AMD this is going to be a drive that you're really going to want to look into. And if you have the money to afford two of them in a RAID 0, I guarantee you it's going to outperform the very large majority of all the solid state drives that are out there right now that are going to feature less capacity and cost like three times as much. So excellent product. It's going to last you forever. It's server quality. You get a five-year warranty. I love this thing. I really, really do. I love it a lot. If you have any questions, email me. I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Western Digital 10,000 RPM Velociraptor hard drive, go to CompUSA.com and type in W10-8114 into the search box. Or you can always call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 1-800-COMP-USA.
Oh, 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 oh,